should see my life. And train hard every day, you know. No pain, no gain. <laughs> Sempre quando a gente toca o limite, a gente consegue ver que vai mais longe. Você tem mais para dar. Mark Hunt, I respect you a lot, but you're gonna fight the best Bigfoot Silver in history. Ok? Let's go to the war. So happy, you know, because I have a good friend of my and my family, you know, the, my family is so important, you know, my daughters, my wife. Uh, I think that's uh, everything for me, you know, the, the friends and family, that's more important. Before the fights, we, we don't see him that much. You know, we try to stay, keep him away from this social life a little bit, you know. Because he eats different, got a cut weight. We try to get, see him in the gym, you know. And let's fight. He cry when I see the fight. I cry because I see my friend win, you know what I mean? Yeah. We're very happy, you know, for that. A lot of fun. <laughs> I love Muay Thai. I just love watching this. And the pace was crazy. These guys are like cardio machine. I like it. I know it's just, that's what Shawan is going to do. <laughs> I met Mark Hunt for the first time. And that was great to meet these guys. They're very nice people. That was a girl fight. I was paying more attention to that girl that lost. More relaxed. I thought she was very impressive. Seems like it's her probably a, I don't know how many fights she had, but I don't think she had many fights where she was in control. She was calm. I like that. That reminds me that's how I want to feel for my fight. That was a great night for me in the fighting mode. We arrived yesterday, very late, but I slept good. I'm ready to train. I'm really enjoying Melbourne. I'm gonna stay in Melbourne after the fight for four days with my family. Yeah, I'm happy to be right. here. Wow, it's cool. Nice place, like in Berlin. Multiculti. Wow, Valerie Latourne, she deserved to fight for this title. She is a good fighter, she's got lots of experience. She likes to fight, she's a striker, so it's going to be a really interesting match between me and her. We're gonna play my game, so from the first second of the fight, I'm gonna be real Joanna, I'm gonna be real champ. Today, I'm gonna have the last hard training before the fight. This training gonna take me to other level, more speed, more power. So I'm happy, just cannot wait until the fight. Champions always do more and I feel great, I feel ready, you know, every day I'm, I'm more hungry, you know, I want to fight and I want to show to everyone that this belt gonna stay with me. I'm the best, I gonna show to all of you 14th of November that I'm simply the best. Well, I'm just gonna do some drawing with Izzy. I have to get some work in. Just kind of get a little game plan, focus on the fight a little bit. And then go for a slight jog after. We're excited, finally feeling good. It is an interesting place to get to through travel, just because of the long flight, but feeling good. Or at least I am, and I know Holly is. Holly's very prepared to fight this girl, to get in a, to get in a war with her. We're obviously not prepared to, to get in a jiu-jitsu tournament with her or a judo tournament with her, but a fight, we're beyond prepared. This is where we gotta ask you guys to leave. Um, we're gonna finalize some prep here and uh, you guys will see what we're working on at the fight. It's a lot of mixed emotions that go into fighting. 
I'm like, I need that other person in there. I can't fight by myself. I need them to be there. And I appreciate they're there, but this person's trying to piggyback off of all of the work I've done my whole life, and they're trying to steal that from me. And in that sense, I'm offended by their presence. I hate them for trying to hurt me, trying to take away something that I care so much about. Every single time, even if I, I don't like the person personally, after I beat them, the joy that they've given me, I love them for it. It's by the time I walk out of that arena and I've won, I have that belt around my waist, I'm, I'm thanking God for that person coming into my life because that moment is a gift that they gave me. I had to take it from them, but they made it possible.